there. It's anyone's guess. And even if it's just Tanya on her own, she'd be a handful, wouldn't she? Wing. What's going on? So I want to search your premises in connection with the armed robbery at Conway's convenience store. Armed oh, robbery? Get up. Get up. You got a wrong one. Get up. This is my gaff. Right, you're lucky that missed. Now we're searching this place from top to bottom, so I suggest you get up. Come on, Tim. Thanks. Couldn't teach your mates some manners, could ya? Anybody else here, Danny? Just us. Now, you need to start talking because you're in a lot of trouble. You leave him alone, you pig! Right there, bro. Please, come on! Bro. He didn't do it! He didn't do it! If he says he didn't do it, he didn't do it! All right! Do you think you are coming in here? Calm down! Now, do you want to be nicked? Leave her alone, mate. Oh, this hasn't got anything to do with her. The rest of the flat's clear. You have some bother here, Phil? Shut up! Are you all right, Tanya? Yeah? Why can't you ring the bell like everyone else? Coming in here, breaking the door down! Sit down. It's all right. Just, just try and calm down, OK? Why don't you tell me what you're looking for? I might be able to help. That's all right, Danny. So we've got our own shopping list. <clears throat> Do you know the convenience store on uh, Echoes Street, Danny? Echoes Street? Isn't very convenient for me. That's funny, because this bottle of vodka came from there. No, I didn't, mate. It came from Russia. It says so on the label. The yellow sticker. Conway's. You like dogs, Danny? Love them, mate. Why'd you ask? I think you know why. Come on, Danny. Arm robbery ain't your style. I mean, you haven't even burgled a flat that didn't have a window open. <laughs> I've gone straight, Mr. Hunter. Listen, you've been ID'd. It's not you we're interested in anyway, it's your mates. So where is he? I don't know who you're talking about. Wish I could help. I really do. Phil, you still got that phone from the hospital. Give Danny a bell, will you? Well, he seems to know you. What, don't you keep track of who your friends are, Dan? Joseph O. What's the O stand for? Him. Just some bloke who met down the pub. Uh, the shopping list is mostly accounted for. The price tag matches the receipt. Nice one. All right, Danny, get dressed. You come in with us. No! He was here! You're not taking him! I won't let you! Listen, do you want to come too? It's all right, love. I'll just go down to the station and answer their questions. Back in a bit, all right? Yeah, I don't count on it. Danny Wing. I'm arresting you on suspicion of armed robberies. Just because. You don't have to say anything, but it may arm your defense if you. Get lost! Here! You know your door's open. Oh, what do you want? Tea and biscuits? No sugar, thanks. I was being sarcastic. Tanya, can we talk? Well, you're gonna, whether I listen or not. Huh? How did you and Danny meet? What's that got to do with anything? Just, just interested. He was in Longmarsh. I had a boyfriend who was inside for arson. Went visiting. I noticed this guy eyeballing me. He was kind of cute. So I started visiting him instead of the ex. <laughs> well, how did the ex take that? He tried to stab Danny with a fork. <laughs> Danny beat seven bells out of him. It's good with his hands. But Danny being involved with guns, that's another matter altogether, isn't it? I mean, it's a miracle he didn't kill somebody. Nothing human, that is. Terry? Terry, do you mind waiting outside? Because I think we're all right, aren't we? We're sweet. We're sweet, yes. Oh, no, 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 have a cigarette. It's your place. Oh, I've got to quit. It's probably quite sensible if you're having a baby. How do you know? Because there's a kit in the bin. It doesn't take a genius oh. to work it out. Is it Danny's? Of course it's Danny's! I ain't a slapper! Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. Danny doesn't know yet. I haven't decided what to do. I've only just found out myself. I had the pregnancy test left over from the last scare. I, I, I did it this morning. It's not really great timing, is it? No. I mean, to go from burglary to armed robbery is quite a step. And if Danny gets sent down for this, he's going to be in prison for a long time. 
We were talking 10 years plus. Tanya, you and I know what he was doing at 3 a.m. this morning. We know who he was with, what he was up to. Now you've got this child to consider. He won't cross anyone up. So we've got to save him from himself. He'd never forgive me. For saving him from going to prison for 10 years. I think you might be surprised. I think he might thank you. When you searched the flat earlier. Yes. I don't think you checked the freezer. Terry! Freezer. You're doing the right thing, I promise. Is this the tape of the CCTV footage, Tanya? He told me to get rid of it, but I didn't. You hid it in the freezer? Well, you didn't find it, did you? Terry, I, I think we've seen enough. Just turn it off. You all right, Tanya? You want to tell us what happened? Danny and Joe were here watching the rerun of the footy. They head off to pick up some stuff and that was that. I didn't know they had a gun on them. When they came back, they were covered in blood. Oh, if it was the dogs. Danny was sick. Danny wanted to take Joe to the hospital because of the bite. But he wouldn't go. He just kept down in vodka. Eventually he passed out. Danny decided to take him to St Hugh's. He told me to get rid of the tape and the gun. Yeah. So you put the tape in the deep freeze. What about the gun? I'm going back now. He's going to hate me for this. Oh, he's going to understand why you did it. Danny's old school. That's why I like him. He always opens the door for me. Pulls out my chair when we go Mackie D's. The ones that ain't bolted down anyway. He's a real gent. In there. What are you doing here? They want me to talk some sense into you. You get back. What you said? I've told them everything I know. But it's only because... You've done what? Danny! Well, you've got to understand. I'm pregnant, darling. We're having a baby. What? You can't be. Well, I am. That's why I did it. I want us to be a family. Wow. Is that it? I did. I want my kid to know his father. Where's Joseph, Danny? How could you do this to me? I told you to get rid of the tape. I told you to hide the oh, gun. Sorry. Joseph's gonna kill me. Danny, if you want to help us, there's plenty of evidence here to put Joseph away for a very, very long time. He won't be able to hurt you. Danny, please. Just think about it, yeah? Tanya, let's get you out of here. Come on. Come on.
coming next tonight. 150 million without breaking a sweat. Exactly. You're either in or you're out. Right now. You scared? You suicidal? They're bringing down the house. Only in the morning. George Clooney and Brad Pitt had an all-star cast in Ocean's Eleven next.